Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan. Look at another Ever GI Joe video. This time we're talking about Ever GI Joe Classified Series, Hasbro's six inch line. So really cool, some images that they had shown us off have all been pretty much released. They did release a Storm Shadow, just not this version, which is of course the version we all want to see one of these days. But all these other ones have been released. So first things they released was the exclusive G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes figure. If you want to pause it and read up on everything that comes with this particular figure, you can see it over there on the right hand side. Look at all those weapons, the backpack, different hands. This one has more of a brown pants and straps around his arms. And a greenish brown, I guess. Because of that back stand there as well. And then his visor is actually silver on this figure. There's some nice promotional images of him. So figure number one, and if you notice, every one of these boxes actually has a figure number on it. So at the very top, you see this is figure number one. We have Roadblock from series one, the one man wrecking crew. Nice promotional art here. Got this huge cannon that it comes with. And here's your nice comparison between this six inch Roadblock and what we had in the three and three quarter back in the day. Good representation of it, in my opinion. Got the full beard going on, though, rather than the little mustache and the, I guess that's a little Fu Manchu or something, maybe. And here's some great artwork or some photos of this figure. Notice his left knee has a golden knee pad on it. So figure number two we have is a second Snake Eyes figure, and if you notice on this second Snake Eyes figure, the visor is black, and so are the legs and the um, straps around his chest there. So it has nowhere near as many weapons with this. And here's your nice comparison of the original three and three quarter compared to the six inch. Would have loved to have seen Timberwolf come with this though. Nice images here of the figure in action. And there's your comparison of the boxes for each of the six inch Snake Eyes figures, the exclusive versus the figure number two. Next, we have figure number three, which is the Destro figure. Brilliant weapons developer and businessman. Got that gold gun, the other gun with a scope on it, and the briefcase. There's your comparison between the three and three quarter and the six inch. Shows you inside the briefcase, it has the keyboard and some money up in the top there, like they're going to blow something up and he's getting paid for it. Next figure number four is the Duke figure, he's the squad leader. Got that scar across his right hand eye, the rifle, the scope he's got there, we call it binoculars. Also he's got a backpack and a handgun. There's your nice comparison. And some nice images. Looking at the binoculars there, that's pretty cool. You see he's got the shovel on the back of his backpack.
nice close up of that. Next we have figure number five in wave one, which is the ultra intelligent field operative Scarlet. Our first female in this wave. There she is with her crossbow, her arrows, and her three knives. Comparison between the original three and three quarter. And some nice images of her. I don't know about you, I'm seeing a little bit of freckles on her face there. Love these images here. Close up of that crossbow, her belt, her strap. So here is wave one, Joe's, four against one. And Cobra Commander Terran Destro, blow it up. Of course, Commander is not part of this wave one, but those other five figures were. So wave three, which is the Zartan and the infantry, is also giving us repaints of those original Wave 1, Roadblock, and Scarlet. So that's interesting. I thought they were just re-releasing, but they're actually repainted. So here is the comparison up on the top right of the new one, Wave 3, compared to the Wave 1 Scarlet. And you'll see the difference in the thighs. I think the hair is even different. And maybe the face sculpt might be a little different. A little bit more detail in that face sculpt. I have to see it whenever we get a much better image of this figure. But still consider figure number five in this wave. So here's your nice up close comparison of the two head sculpts. The darker red with kind of the blonde streak in the front there is the newer version. And so if you look at the face sculpt, the face sculpt is actually the same. They just did so much better on the painting, it looks like. And then you look on down, you see the differences in the gold versus the brown, the gray versus the brown. And then on the shin guards, not having the blue on this newer paint scheme. And then the shoes don't have the red on them on this new paint scheme. And also on the gauntlets, there's no blue on it on the newer paint scheme. And then you look at the sleeves and the stomach area. You have a darker color black versus the lighter blue that was on the original. And here's the back of the figure as well. Bow and arrows look the same, but you can see a good shot of the the different colors of the rear there. And here's your difference in your roadblock. Top right is your Wave 3 repaint. Notice the pants are completely different. Don't have that gold knee pad or the gold boots anymore. And also missing that gold up top on his straps there. And the gun, instead of being silver, is now more of a dark gray gun. And also repaint from wave one, we have Duke. And you know the original had the gold. This new one has more of a silver and green look to him instead on his knee pads and his shin guards. It's about the only difference that I can see. Yep. And the guns are different. The guns aren't as painted well. Uh, they're just plain gray, looks like. And then we have a Snake Eyes repaint as well. And also a repackage. Because if you notice the one on the left, which is the original, up beside the sword, there was a knife in the package. On this newer one, there is no knife in the package. It's actually in his sheath. Proving that it can actually fit in the sheath like a, a lot of people were complaining it couldn't. Now what is the other difference? So notice on the original, there was a red dot above the visor. On this new one, that red dot has been removed. That's the only difference we can see. So here are all four repaints of Wave 1 that we've got so far in package. Courtesy of Dan Hu, here's a nice shot of all four of the repaints together. So speaking of Cobra Commander, here he is, figure number six in the wave. This is the more dark colored costume that he came with. Has that silver gun and sword, Different hands, got that cape going on in the back. Nice close up of the sword and the gun.
And if you like this helmet, let me know. I don't specifically like the sculpt of this helmet. It doesn't really remind me of the original. But then they did a network exclusive, which ended up being a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, which was the lighter colored costume, lighter color blue. Comes with the gold gun and gold sword. I kind of like this one better myself. Let me know what y'all think. There's the back of the figure, back of the package, side of the package. It's figure number six, and this is figure number six again. So it's interesting they didn't actually renumber this figure. So you got two figure sixes. And here's your comparison between both of the Cobra Commanders and the original three and three quarter. So as you notice, what I was talking about with the helmet on the original three and three quarter, it didn't round around the face like this six inch figure does. I don't know. That's just my opinion. So I would have loved to see one more like the one on the right here, which is a custom. Even with more of that shiny effect on his helmet as well. There is that same image of Commander telling Destro to blow it up, and a nice image of the artwork for the G.I. Joe's, kind of showing what we're going to get and what we pretty much did get. Everybody but the, of course, the vehicles, which we need to get, and the Alley Vipers up at the top. So here's figure number seven. We have Gung Ho, the Fearless Jungle Specialist. Love that he's got the open jacket there showing the tattoo off. His hat actually comes off. There he is with two of his guns. There he is with his hat off and his mohawk. Got a big old backpack as well, of course. So here is the gung ho that we got in Classified compared to the original gung ho. And as you can see, they are nothing alike. Cool design but not the classic that we wanted. And there you can see him with his hat off. Kind of got a little bit of hair on the top of his head. Has his, what do you call that, a Fu Manchu? Instead of just a mustache. And the colors are green instead of that aqua color. But there's all the accessory he has from the back as well with his hat on. Like I said, really cool figure. Very large figure as well. Next we have figure number eight, which is the Red Ninja. With those white eyes. All kinds of weapons go on with him. So here's your first army builder. Protecting Cobra Commander, the Mercenary Ninja Warriors. Here's you the only uh, original three and three quarter I could find for the Red Ninjas. Nice shot of the weapons all stored on his back. Like I said, army building time. Next we have a exclusive figure number nine, Cobra Commander, SDCC exclusive for the Snake Supreme Cobra Commander. It's got this awesome box that opens up. Got the world in his hand there. More gold weapons, got that huge cape, soft goods. There's the back of it, stepping on the world. There he is, where you can see him on the inside of the box, how it kind of slides open. Really cool looking figure. But again, he's got that same mask issue going on where he's kind of down and around the space, which doesn't bother me as bad on this one because it's a completely different type of figure. Next we have figure number 10, which is a Target exclusive, Special Mission Cobra Island, Wayne Beachhead Sneedon. We've got that beret on his head, that you can take off of course, got the crossbow, several weapons, all green, kind of wish they had put some color to those. Got that black back, uh, excuse me, backpack, here he is taking it off, showing it off. And really interesting is that this right here, this figure, or this character, isn't even on a lot of the G.I. Joe website for Hasbro, so this one kind of came out of nowhere. Wasn't expecting to get him. And there's your nice comparison between the original three and three quarter. Next we have another Target exclusive Special Mission Cobra Island roadblock, so it's our second roadblock figure. Hands with that same cannon, uh, but this time he does have some nice sunglasses. 
communication device on his ear, got that black uh, camouflage look to his shirt. Showing off that tattoo really well on his arm. Got the bigger beard on this one, I like that. Here he is with Beachhead. Back of the package on all these Cobra Island Target exclusive figures. Next we have figure number 12, the Cobra Trooper, which is also a Target exclusive. The helmet comes off, the goggles come off. Really nice figure. Another army builder here for us. And very hard to find. So here he is. Got his weapons, got his backpack. There he's with his goggles on, his goggles up, his helmet off. Lots of different choices for us. Like the way he's got his gun stored on his back there. Here's a nice comparison between the original three and three quarter. And our most sought after, which was one of the hardest to find, Baroness with the Cobra Coil. Very first figure, second female in the wave. Figure number 13. Love this motorcycle. Got that snake as a gun on her arm. That's really cool. Got the helmet you can switch off. Love Baroness. I hope they re-release her one of these days because I never was able to find this one. There's the back of that box. Of course, it isn't going to be different because it's a wider box. Showing her in her gold gun. Leaning against the bike. There's that snake on her arm. And her with the helmet on the bike. Love Baroness. Here she is compared to her three and three quarter. Next we have the Amazon exclusive figure number 14. Arctic Mission Storm Shadow. Really, really want to get the other Storm Shadow. Here he is where you can take his hood off. You can see the black underneath it. Got the bow and arrows, sword, grapple hook. Here he's compared to the original Arctic Storm Shadow. Got a Prophet Director Destro. Got that nice cape, the burning money. Everything gold this time instead of silver on this Destro. Another briefcase with him. This was a little bit higher in price, figure number 15. $25 instead of $19.99. Got the glasses he can take off. The cape actually comes off as well. Got the briefcase again, money in it, keyboard. Love them glasses, look at them glasses, those things are crazy. The back of the cape there, like the leopard print. And here's you kind of a comparison to the best I could find for the three and three quarter of something similar to this with Destro. So we finally got our G.I. Joe Snake Eyes movie figures shown off to us. So yeah, Snake Eyes movie, very disappointing. Just in my opinion. And as you can see on the shelves, these figures are still just sitting there. And there he is himself. Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins from the Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest 2021 event. There he is with his helmet on, got his sword drawn. Out of package and with the package there. Got the knives down there at the bottom. A little closer look at that. And then we have our Storm Shadow Classified. Got that scar on his eye, looks like. Got the mask on as well. Got his swords. There he is, loose and with the package. A little closer up. This is figure number 17. Snake Eyes was 16. Here we go, showing off a new figure in the movie, a Kiko. Packaging here, got all kinds of weapons with her.
Here she is. She's figure number 18. Then we have Baroness. Got the glasses that can come off. A couple swords, a gun. Got that collar around her neck. And then we got Scarlet. Scarlet doesn't look too bad. Got that chest armor there. Crossbow. Not much in her package there. It's very empty. So what do you think about those five figures from the Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins movie? And here's all five loose and in package. So here's the side artwork for these movie figures. Nice artwork. And it is figures 16 through 20 in the Classified series. Alright, I'm counting this because it is still a classified figure even though it's not counted towards it, but it is a Fortnite Snake Eyes. You can see all those crazy accessories that it comes with for the Fortnite game. But this is actually one of the coolest looking Snake Eyes that they've done so far. There you are close up on those accessories. Crazy guns, grenades, you got his sword there. Some kind of a belt there that goes around him with the grenades. Back of that package. And here's how the package opens up. Very similar to the way that Cobra Commander did. So nice display and setup there with this Snake Eyes figure. So next we have a couple more Target exclusives. You have the Special Missions Cobra Island Firefly figure. Comes with that drone, some dynamite, goggles, backpack. There he is with his goggles on the head, using a control to fly the drone and the dynamite to drop it off. That drone does store on his back as well. Nice close up of that drone figure. And his face sculpt actually has a little burnt. Uh, he's been blowing himself up some, so that's pretty, pretty good detail there. There's the side of that package. Artwork done by Jeremy Wilson. Comparison between the original three and three quarter. And another target exclusive, Cobra Island, is the Cobra Viper, another army builder that is probably going to be extremely hard for the majority of us to find because of the scalpers out there. With that backpack, the scarf, the goggles. I like the way those goggles store on the top of that helmet. We can just change the figures up, make them look different with these army builders. Love the way that clip comes out of that gun there. There's the side of the package, the backward artwork, done by Anthony Petrie. And there's your comparison between your original three and three quarter. Next we have figure number 23, so we skipped a lot of figures. Here is Zartan. Got the face sculpt there in his, in his backpack. Love the way this Zartan looks. A scarf around his neck. He is bald, so when you take the hood off, you do see the bald headed Zartan there. Master of Disguise. Nice artwork on the back of the package there by Tony Daniel. And a comparison between the original. So, yeah, Zartan figure number 23. And you can see the artwork on the back of the package did change, adding Zartan to it as well. Beach heads on there too, so that's awesome. Firefly. And then we've got figure number 24, which is the Cobra Infantry, another army builder. Very similar to the Target. I'll show you a uh, comparison here soon. Doesn't have nowhere near as many accessories as, a, as that Target exclusive one did. Getting his butt kicked. But then also taking Duke captive. Nice shot of the side of the package. Artwork for the done by Kike Kotaki.
And here's your comparison of the infantry Cobra in the original three and three quarter figure. And then as the dynamic duo they said is cohort Lady J comes with two different head sculpts or hair sculpts I should say one with a hat and one without backpack spear really cool that they gave us all these options and of course when we were talking about the dynamic duo the majority of us thought that we were getting the twins Zamax and Tomax but we didn't hopefully that'll be a two-pack one of these days maybe our first two-pack that we get nice shots of her in action spear gun Tipping her hat. You can see there's storage in the back of her backpack there for some of her weapons. And here she is, the dynamic duo with her and Flint. Taking on Zartan. Up, oh, but oh, there's a trooper behind him. Here's your comparison of the three and three quarter and the six inch Lady J. Next, we have what they called the Dynamic Duo, which really threw a lot of us off, but it is Flint. There's your nice shot of Flint with that beret taking it off. Got that scar on his left eye. Got that awesome shotgun there. Don't know what figure number Flint is, though. And neither did I know for the Firefly or the Viper that came, were Target exclusives. Because you can't see the top of the box, so I don't know what number they actually are. Nice shots of him and his camo here. Taking that shotgun, looking like you can actually load it. It actually stores on his back as well. Great images here. Lance, one of my favorites. Look at the hair, the way it's slicked back and shaved on the side. So here's your comparison between your original and your new one. from the back there you can see he's added to and Lady J so really cool how they're actually upgrading the packages as they go the first one is the very first wave package showing off what they had in the original wave and had a few teases there second one shows even more added to it you got the Firefly and the Viper also Zartan and Beachhead added to that second one and the third image on the right there is adding the Flint and Lady J, and also you'll see at the top, Major Blood. So here it is zoomed in, you can see them all. So the biggest one that had not been revealed until recently is the Major Blood, of course. So here's what the Hasbro website looked like for the Major Blood that they had before we knew about him on the, on the back of the package. And here is a little closer up look of what it looked like, I guess, maybe in the video game compared to the blurry look that we had on the back of the package. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we got an eBay listing with Major Blood showing him off for the first time, which made us find out that it was a Cobra Island Target exclusive Major Blood. And this auction got up to around $17,000, I think, before the... Bid started getting removed. Dropped it back down to $222. And then I think finally the guy just took the auction down because it was so many uh, trolls out there trying to get the price up there on it. And there's the sides of the package showing this is figure number 27 and the front of the package. And some really nice artwork of the side of his head there with the mohawk or whatever that is. So excited to get, if I can hopefully get my hands on, I've not got my hands on any of the Cobra Island target figures yet. So here are some more shots of the Major Blood, showing his dog tags, his different guns, his helmet on, the front of the package there, Cobra Island. Helmet off, all the different accessories he does come with, two awesome looking guns. And here is some nice promotional artwork or shots of the Major Blood figure. Helmet off, on, put the gun in the holster, firing. 
And here's the side of that package. There's your artwork showing the side of the head shaved and showing him with the helmet on with that nice eye right there. Nice backpack in the back as it says well. So on June 4th, 2021, we had a fan first Friday for Hasbro Pulse and G.I. Joe Classified. Yo Joe June they're claiming. So we'll see if we get any more reveals in June. The first thing we got was a heavy artillery roadblock. Got that nice massive Gatlin gun. Got the camo colors on this time, just like the original roadblock release in 84. And here's some nice images of him. Helmet on, helmet off, holding that Gatling gun. Got the straps up over his shoulders. And it is up on Amazon if you haven't gotten it yet. Not sure what that symbol is on his helmet there. You guys have to help me out in the comments if you know. Holding that Gatling gun. You can see that barrel comes off the Gatling gun with the uh, ammo in it. So you can load it back in there. Here's a nice comparison between the classified and the original 84 roadblock. So you can see the nostalgia in that. Next we have our two pack of Snake Eyes and Timber. It's going to be 40 bucks. Alpha Commandos here. Timber does have two different head sculpts. Snake Eyes has multiple weapons there. There's the artwork on the back of the package, I guess, or on the side there. Got the knife. Got the scars on Timber's face there. You got the two different guns. Another gun. I like that new face there with the Timber angry. And here's your nice comparison of the original release with Timber and this new two pack. And this is figure pack number 30 for classified. And then we have another Cobra Island Special Missions. This is Barbecue. Barbecue kind of had leaked on a target leak a long time ago with Major Blood and Flint and Scarlet or um, Lady J. And I think uh, Zartan too was on that leak. So good to finally see him out. Got that backpack, two different axes. His blowtorch there, I guess. Hopefully they're going to stock some of these Cobra Islands better with this. Here's the package art. Here he is in some action scenes. You can see the axe can hook up on his uh, backpack there. He also has one that can hook on his side. The gun can too. But here they are having Major Blood beat him up, which stinks. And here is the original release G.I. Joe 3 and 3 quarter. And the artwork that they had on their website, Thrill Seeking Firefighter. And here's your comparison between the classified and the original three and three quarter. So yeah, Cobra Island barbecue here in package with all those accessories loose there. One of my favorites. And here's some nice image of him. You can see all the accessories can actually stay on his body. So that's cool. I like the way classified X makes their stuff store. Awesome looking stuff. Here's our Cobra Island Special Mission Breaker figure with the Ram Cycle. Yo Joe June showed this off. There's the artwork. Got his beard, his helmet on with the communicator. Sidecar there with the Gatling gun, which he can also obviously take off and use himself. And there's a comparison with the original Breaker. And the original Ram Cycle. So yeah, the back of these packages for the Cobra Island are kind of boring. It's just got a map of the island. Um, so it's not as cool as the other artwork, in my opinion. But uh, there you go. These Cobra Islands were Target exclusives. And there he is in action, or calm, calmly standing beside his Ram Cycle. 
So that's it for the Fan First Friday for June 4th. And the four reveals for the classified. So pretty cool. They teased here this roadblock. And of course that's the one we already had. And we did get a new roadblock. Had Bertillery though, so that's nice. Alright, so check this out. Hasbro Pulse exclusive Zartan figure with color change action. The front package there actually has the ability to swap heads on it, so that's pretty cool. A little round thing. Awesome. And there's the different colors, the white versus the color change. And again, you get the little spinning wheel right there on the package to let you switch the faces on the front of the package. And then there's the back of the package. We've seen that artwork with Zartan before in Flint. Interesting. Lady J's been moved now. She's not up there beside Flint. You swing up in the front of the package and there you see Zartan with all of his little facial sculpts there and all of his weapons. This Zartan is so much better than the original, in my opinion. And there's the different face, so you can see them all at the same time. Figure number 31 in the classified line. There's a different mask you can put on, plus his, his uh, hoodie. All the weapons in action there. It can be snake eyes, it can be storm shadow, it can have some kind of skull mask on. And all those accessories in the package. So there's your comparison between the original Zartan, which is much darker uh, colors for his costume, versus this new one. With the lighter silvers on it. At a PulseCon 2021, day two reveal for G.I. Joe. Their brand panel showed off the bat figure, and oh my gosh, I loved this. This was my army builder. This is what I wanted. I did not have a bat as a kid, but neighbors did, and a bat was one of my favorites, especially in the cartoons. So you got the chest plate that can come off, different head sculpts for him arms that can be swapped off as well so here's the bat in action there's the artwork for him and this did not disappoint at all figure number 33 flamethrower there I would have the only thing I would have said would that been I'd love to have seen some actual uh, flame effects come with this flamethrower. That's the one thing Classified has not done is little effect pieces. So here's your comparison between the original bat and the artwork they gave us from the website and the Classified bat. Great looking. Alright. So they started jumping into Tiger Force. So the first figure was Outback. And interesting enough, Outback has gray hair here. Got the orange Tiger Force shirt on, stripes on his pants. There's the artwork for the package. Of course, Tiger Force is going to be Target exclusive as well. And there he is, figure number 39. You can see his backpack there holding a shovel. The back of the package artwork has changed again for the Tiger Force versus the Python Patrol. And there he is all laid out. Still have not gotten any official images of him with the clear background yet. Here we go with another Viper. And this is a Python Patrol Viper. Again, target exclusive. Figure number 42. You can see the back of the artwork is just like the Tiger Force. Except it says Python Patrol instead. And here's your comparison between the Python Viper original figure and the classified version. So there those two are. And then they have a Python Patrol bat, interesting enough. Got the faceplate that says Python Patrol that can come off as well. Artwork on the side. Figure number 41 in the classified line. There's different faceplates there on the chest.
And there's the Python Patrol fighting the Tiger Force that we got right there. Alright, one of my favorites of 2022. You got Spirit and Freedom. And this one did not disappoint when I got it in hand. Got the different wings for Freedom that can lay down or spread out. Backpack, the rifle, two knives. There's all the accessories he comes with. Really great looking figure, puts a little brightness to the shelf. Here's your comparison between the original Spirit and the Classified Spirit, and Freedom. Also, one of my top of this year was the Storm Shadow we did get. It does have a hood, all kinds of accessories that will actually hook up to the backpack as well. Check out all those shots. So there's those two figures. So yeah, here's the artwork for the Storm Shadow that they had on the Hasbro website. You can see he's got tattoos in his arms. Kind of got a metallic mask on. So they still have not done this version, but this is the closest one we have to our original vintage version that we have here. There's a comparison between the vintage and the one we actually did get. Perfection. Looks so good. So yeah, Storm Shadow and Spirit. Probably my top two of 2022. And then my top three would be also this guy right here, Croc Master. Massive Croc that's actually articulated. Got the chain that'll go around the neck. The whip. Got the hook that you can actually hold in his mouth. Check out that artwork on the side of the box. Comes with a knife as well. Got the breathing apparatus on his back. Check him out holding the hook there in his mouth. Got two baby gators that comes with it. There it is in package. So it's a deluxe box. Figure number 38. Awesome looking. And this guy's massive too. Crockmaster, one of my favorites, as a vintage three and three quarter inch. So this was definitely a must. And Fiona comes with him as well. Just a little figure there. And there's a comparison between your three and three quarter inch and your six inch scale. So cool. So yeah, that was from PulseCon 2021 that they revealed those three. Hasbro Pulse Premium 1027 showed off the Alley Viper. Got the masks that'll go up and down. So again, this is one of those arm builders that was out there. Got that massive shield, and that shield's got that little little uh, targeter there on the inside. That's really cool. There's your artwork showing how much of an armor builder this is. Mask up, mask down. Really cool figure. And there it is in package, figure number 34. All kinds of accessories that come with him and they can all hook on him too. And there he is with the next tease. I think we've already talked about him though, the bat. So yeah, there's figures 33 and 34, the alley viper and the bat. There they are together too. And that's the flame that's effect I'm talking about right there for that bat piece right there. That'd be awesome. So there is the artwork that we had for Alley Viper from the Hasbro website and the vintage toy compared to the new six inch toy. So good. Also the Cobra Officer was shown off. That kind of a lighter looking blue and then that lighter color uh, Cobra symbol there. But pretty much the same as the uh, the um, infantry. I'll show a comparison here later on about all, all three of them. There he is from front to back. Got the helmet on his head. And the case on the back there for his gun. 
and can actually hold his clip. I didn't even re recognize that. That's cool. There's all the accessories it comes with. Two extra clips there. Knife, gun, scope. And there's comparison with your three and three quarter inch Cobra Officer. And again, the back of the artwork has changed up a lot more. This time you have the Storm Shadow and the the uh, Snake Eyes right there in the center piece. You got your Croc Master on there now. Awesome looking. Spirits on there as well. Alright, next we have the Crimson Twins from the Crimson Guard. Here's your Tomax. And your Zamont. And I would have loved for this to be in a two pack like the original, but no, they put them out separately. So that's crazy. So Tomax, no scar. Zamont with the scar on his face. There's your renderings. Nice artwork here on the side. And there's the package. There's the two figures together. I cannot wait to get these in hand finally. So figure number 45, Zaymont. Two artwork can actually combine together. That's cool looking. And here is Tomax, figure number 44. There is the original vintage plus that artwork that came from the website. So again, that was a nice two pack back in the day. I, I actually passed on that one time. I wish I hadn't. But there's your comparison between the old and the new. All right, next we got Stalker. Got the nice scarf around his neck. Would have been cool if he had come with a jetpack or something like that. But he got the scarf. There's that artwork we had for him. Compared to what we actually got. This was definitely celebrating the 40th year for G.I. Joe. Love this battle scene right here. There's his artwork. I don't like too much myself. There he is in package, figure number 46. In the back of the package. And they did not add any of these new guys to this artwork. They didn't add Stalker or Crimson Twins to this artwork. There's your comparison between the original. There's those three, plus we got another one here. So we got a three pack army builder, troop builder, whatever you call it, of Vipers, two Cobra Vipers and one Viper Commander. Compared to the original that we got. There's that Viper Commander. Again, I love those blast effects you actually get this time finally. The artwork for him. Battle scene diorama. So yeah, this is the first time they've actually given us blast effects, finally. There's the package, 47. Plastic lifts front package there. So during the 40th anniversary live stream that he showed off that we were going to be getting a Zorana from the Dreadnoughts. Dusty. Showed off that we were going to get our Crimson Guard and a Python Patrol Trooper, which we'll talk about that Trooper later. These will be target exclusives for the Python Patrol 
and we'll show off something else here in a second. Tiger Force. So Python Patrol and Tiger Force are showing up now for target exclusives. Here's your Rikondo and your Bazooka Tiger Force. Mindbender was showed off, and we'll show off later what that's going to be all about. And then a Kamakura. Two different head sculpts, a hood. So check that out. That's a pretty cool reveal day. So here are the Zorana, Crimson Guard, and Dusty for the next wave. Zorana in package, figure number 48. In action. Cannot wait to get more Dreadnoughts. We'll talk about that later too. So here she is next to her vintage. Now if you notice on her vintage, they actually had color changing options. So too bad this particular one did not have the color change options. Another thing I just noticed in the package, she has an extra set of hair. So I did not realize her hair changed. So that's cool for the uh, classified one. Here we got Dusty. You can take his head cover off there from the desert. Got his backpack, his scope with his rifle there. Nice artwork on that one. Goggles only on. Headgear with goggles on. And compared to your three and three quarter inch, there's your Desert Trooper Dusty. Here's a Crimson Guard. There's that artwork. Of course, this is another army builder for us. Got his sword. I guess, as you can see, his backpack can hold all his weapons as well. Again, there you can see this army builder. And there he is compared to his original. Three and three quarter inch figure. And here's the other set have not been put up for pre-order yet, but you got your target exclusives for your Python Patrol and your Tiger Force. Here's your bazooka in package. And here's artwork. Cannot wait to get a regular bazooka though. There he is compared to his original three and three quarter inch Tiger Force bazooka. Now here's an interesting thing, Rikondo, figure number 55 in the wave, was never put in 3 and 3 quarter inch that I know of. Here's his artwork. So there's no comparison for that one. And here's your Python Patrol Officer. Now here's what I want to talk about with this one. They're saying that this is an officer. There's the artwork. Again, it would be an army builder for you. But when I look at officers from the original three and three quarter inch, he's got the dark colors and the red mask and the gray helmet versus the trooper looks more like this. So they kind of messed this one up compared to the original. So this would be more of an infantry or a trooper rather than a officer like they have this labeled. So I don't know if they're going to change that before it's released or what, but that's that's definitely a little bit odd for me. All right, here's Kamakura in package. No plastic. So starting off that no plastic stuff, figure number 61. I think this is going to be an Amazon exclusive. Here he is in action with and without his mask on. I don't know much about Kamakura. Here's Kamakura in package. You can see these plastic free in the way it looks. Also revealed another plastic free is the Blue Ninja two pack this time. Again, no plastic. Figure 57. And they got the alternate heads there. Cool looking heads there. And then another Tiger Force this time with a vehicle. We have Duke teased here. 
Wasn't sure how it was going to be released until a little bit later on. We see that it actually is going to come with a ramp cycle as well, painted up with Tiger Force, which again was never done in the original. So there you go with that ramp cycle. And Duke. Front and back of the package, again, the plastic. This is a Target exclusive, I believe. Cool artwork. And there's a comparison between the original Tiger Force Duke. And again, there was no Tiger Force Ram Cycle. Here's our Dr. Mind Bitter. Now, this is going to be a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, or it is one. You missed your pre-orders back on July 20th, 2022. Ugh. Hopefully they'll release it again without all the accessories, maybe. But yeah, this is awesome. Mindbender was one of my favorites. There's the package. How it folds out, shows all the accessories all spread out. Back of the package with some crazy new artwork on it. And compared to the original. There was the rendering of the artwork beforehand. Nice sculpting in the face sculpt there with the big old mustache and the crazy eyebrows. So that's great designs for these classified figures. Got his bats in the background there. Creating them all. Alright, so here's some nice shots of mine bender and package. Put the slip cover over it there. Back of it also you can see slip cover, nice new art for him. Without the slip cover, same art. Inside the package you fold it out and you see all the weapons and everything accessory wise laid out right around Mindbender. There's some action shots of him playing with his lab. There he is from all angles. Beautiful mustache. And the eyeglass there over his eye. Soft goods esque cape. And all those accessories he comes with. And here we got Sergeant Slaughter, the real Sergeant Slaughter, revealing the next one. With his classified series action figure looking awesome perfection you see all his stuff he comes with all kinds of accessories he comes with his whistle he comes with his hat that'll come off the glasses will come off he comes with a tiny little action figure of himself awesome got his baton and a gun loving this but again plastic free there he is without his helmet, without his glasses, without his hat. And with his little tiny action figure on a card. There he is compared to the mail away that we had back in the three and three quarter inch days. A little different there. Of course, they had a green shirt in USA with black pants. This time we have the opposite colors. And the wrist braces and no gloves. So June 8, 2022 had a fan stream. Showed off another Snake Eyes in Timber. This time he's got kind of green pants and the silver mask. I do like the silver mask. Timber's more of a white color with some scars on it. I don't like that as much. But I do definitely like that head sculpt. Again, plastic free packaging. He does come with a scarf as well, just like um, Stalker did. Nice shot of the inside of the package here showing snake eyes and timber plastic free. And then they also showed off some more teases of low light and the Cobra flight pod with a televiper. There's your original of those two. 
and the flight pod. So I cannot wait to get the flight pod. That'd be awesome. So here's a nice rendering of the flight pod and televiper, extra heads it comes with. This is going to be an amazing figure vehicle set here. I'm very excited for this one. Next show we had was Serpentor we're doing SDCC. This was the show stealer for all of SDCC with Serpentor in his air chariot. So we got all kinds of shots of him in the display here. Nice cape. Got the cow that'll go on and come off. The air chariot looking awesome. This is perfection, guys. His new artwork. Package. That face looks amazing. But again, here's the actual pictures. You can see the snake thing can go up and down or on and off. There's the packaging. Now, guys, this is going to be a... PulseCon exclusive, so this will be limited just like the Mindbender was, so that's going to be kind of scary for some of us. But definitely this is going to be joining my collection if I can. There he is compared to the original. This was definitely one of my favorite 3 3 quarter inch action figures. Alright, of course we knew Serpentor was coming out. Has Repulse exclusive. There's his artwork. Looking really good. His sword, his staff. From the back there. His air chariot. You see the mouth open there with the teeth down? You can actually close the mouth and the teeth will actually go up into the chariot as well. So that's kind of cool. There's a gun up in there too. You can kind of see it there in the face. But yeah, really awesome looking. This did sell out very fast. I love the air chariot. And they said that those two guns right there actually will come off and be held by any Joe you want to. Or Cobra, whichever. And that that fan actually does spin. Comes with a Cobra there. And if you notice in his hand, he actually has the Cobra that he straightens out and throws through uh, Duke's heart. There's that packaging. This should hit us in December, hopefully. But yeah, that artwork is amazing. All right, some more of the official images here. So Pentor and all his accessories in package. Package open up wide. You can see all the accessories on the side. You cannot see the air chariot in there because it's in pieces, I guess. Again, with the slip cover there over top. You see it from the front and the back. New artwork for him as well. Shots of those accessories and the wonderful air chariot. I'm loving these vehicles. And here it is packaged up into an air chariot, slip cover, front and back. Without the slip cover on it. Front of it, you can see where you can fold it open right there in the middle. You can see Serpentor. Here's from all angles again with the soft goods. Got his staff there. And here's the air chariot. Oh my gosh, so amazing. Serpento on the air chariot. All right, so here's some more of our pipeline reveals. We've got our Arctic Trooper, Snow Job. That'll be awesome looking. We also got our Tunnel Rat figure. So here is the original 3 3 quarter inch, so I cannot wait to see what these guys look like in Classified. Here's our first look at Snow Job, his rendering of what he's going to look like, all the accessories he's going to come with. Extra head there. The skis, the poles, the gun. The goggles, the hood, the backpack. Amazing. We also have our scrap iron with a drone and our grunt figure. 
So here's our scrap iron, what he had originally. First shot of scrap iron here is going to include the rocket loaded. He has an electric anti-armor drone and blast effects. So great accessories here for him. And our grunt. Next reveals pipeline we have is going to be a ripper figure from the Dreadnoughts. And another Firefly, so I'm not sure what the difference is going to be between the original Firefly and this new one. And our Cobra Range Viper and our Big Ben is next on the list, we think. So there are those originally. Alright, so let's get into our retro 6 inch scale figures with the Baroness first. Now these are just repaints, so here's the original that had the Cobra Coil uh, bike with her. So if you can tell, the paint job has changed. Look at the belt. Uh, there was a red Cobra symbol on the original and a black one on this one. She had gold guns originally. This time she has black guns. And the head sculpt has changed just slightly. This was found in the stores before we ever got any kind of reveals. So there was the Baroness found in the store originally. Here is the artwork. Again, she has black weapons this time. And there's the actual card, front and back, showing a tease of two shadows, which we can tell are gung-ho and we think is Destro at the time. But also you can see that there's a Lady J there. So there she is. She also comes with a figure stand. There's our Lady J. Again, same figure, just repainted in the classic colors. There was the original that we had compared to this new one. So just a, kind of a lighter green color, really. And the hat has changed this emblem on it. Her weapons are silver this time. Front and back of the card. And guys, let me tell you something about these cards once they finally came in hand. They are flimsy, very thin cardboard. So there is the stand that she comes with. Next we have Destro. He has his eyebrows painted on this mask. That is the big difference, but there's a couple more I'll show you. So notice the belt, the gun holder around, his, around the original's leg was all red. This time it's red and black. His uh, wrist gauntlets are more of a silver color this time versus the last time they were kind of a darker silver, along with his belt as well. His necklace is gold on the original, and this one is silver. And something you can't see here, but you can see on the weapons that we have here, you had a gold weapon and a black and red weapon versus the new one retro is all black weapons. And even the briefcase itself, how you see the Cobra emblem on the original with red, it's all black on the vintage. So I myself kind of did a kit bash and switched the things I like to make the Destro that I wanted. So there he is in package. You can see that black weapons and the black briefcase. Front and back of the figure with the figure stand he comes with. Next we have our Gun Ho retro reveal with his original color costume. <laughs> Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I got a better mustache, his hat fits better, he's a bald-headed dude instead of having a... I don't know, anyway, he looks so much better, his tattoo's perfect. There's the original. I like both, but the, the retro here is the gun coat that I wanted for my shelf. So there he is, bald head and all, on his retro card. So there's those four that we finally decided to reveal with retro cards. And that's all we thought we was going to get was these four, right? There's your comparison between the original retro or uh, vintage. Looks so good. Lenny's showing them off at one of the Pulse uh, June. I think it was like a jo Yojo June or something. Now two more reveals. Storm Shadow and Zartan. Boom. Them on the retro cards as well. Just out of the blue. Had no idea. So there's your Zartan. Kind of got some blue colors this time. 
right back at the card this time they took off the ladies and showed just the four guys and here's our storm shadow so good looking but again these cards are not going to stand up the test of time they are crap they are so thin and the fact that they took another storm shadow out this quickly after the original that we had in the uh, classified line is kind of crazy to me but he is one of the top joes i would have wanted on a retro card anyway then at sdcc i think it was sdcc they showed off yeah snake eyes on a retro card and on display and also a crimson guard on the retro card and out on display so yeah two more retro guys official shots of these last two vintage guard figures here crimson guard and snake eyes so you can see the card from the front all the accessories the figure stand and from the back as well in action And here's the Crimson Guard from the front, the accessories, the figure stand, from the back, and in action. So that puts us to eight retros already. We do not have any shots of Snake Eyes and the Crimson Guard on card yet. So here we go. HasLab showing us off a classified G.I. Joe. What in the world could it be? It is the Cobra Hiss. Wow. Yes, Cobra Hiss is our G.I. Joe classified, and it did fund. So we'll talk about that here in a second. So here we go. Early bird fund, funding uh, before July 6th, which that's all gone. We definitely have funded it. So anybody who has funded it already will be getting a extra figure. So we'll talk about that here in a minute. But as you see, within the first couple minutes, we already had, you know, 46 backers. No big deal. Within the first hour, we had 1,600 backers. Two hours, 2,600 backers. Three hours, 4,300 backers. Already over half right there. This is a $299 project for this Hiss tank for the G.I. Joe Classified HasLab. But as you see, with shipping and taxes, it ends up being $344.54 or $345. So $345 plus hopefully we're going to be getting all the unlocks. We'll see here. But here is the prototype that they showed off during this panel. And there is the his tank itself looking gorgeous. Got the treads that actually work. Has light up effects in it. There is the his tank driver that comes with it automatically. And he will have his own card uh, numbered for the Jazzo Classified series as well. It's got the ramp that opens up at the back. You can see those lights inside and outside. You see the Cobra logo there, all kinds of stuff inside. We'll get to even better here. You got the turret up top with the cannons there on top. They will have holes in them so you can put actual blast effects in there. You got the canopy with the glass in it there. You see the turrets do move as well. You got the storage there for your weapons. Up top we'll see a little bit better picture of whatever all that uh, mechanism is it's nice and colored in there in the renderings there's the inside effects with the light pieces inside as well check this out these renderings of course but check this seat out with the seat belts the Cobra you got the shifter there for them to drive the tank that is awesome looking seat so Mars Industries feature innovations I'm not going to read all this but I will say uh, the canopy the rear cargo bay uh, articulated turret and posable cannon accessories, removable engine cover detail, removable armor plating skirt, extendable cockpit boarding ladders. We do not see a picture of that yet, but they will have a ladders for us to be able to climb up. So if you want to pause this and read all these things, you can. But here's that extra early bird figure that we have now unlocked. Uh, we will get to choose the color of this as well. This is inspired by the Ron Rudetz design for the first Hiss tank driver or the Cobra Hiss Tactician. 
And so again, we did already pass the 8,000 backers to be able to get this guy right here as well. So that's a second figure already that we're getting for those of us who are backing that early. So here's your scale. You got the about 11 inches tall up to the top of the turret and about 19 inches long from front to back. You see the figure himself is 6.43, so it's a little bit over six inches tall for the Hiss driver. I love the red effects around the glass piece there. That's that's really nice looking. You can see the weapons and the hand, extra hands that the Hiss driver does come with. Just check out the lighting effect, like the little panel that's up there, like he's, he's using that to uh, figure out where he's gonna shoot his cannons at and everything, that is awesome looking. Now I want you to notice something there on the side right above the, the tracks right there. There's a hole. We'll talk about that here a little bit later, but I want you to recognize that hole there. You got the Cobra logo on the side, the 788 on the side there as well. Cobra logo up on the top. But again, there's that driver, the extra hands he has fisted and open for the gripping of the guns. That driver looks really good. But there, check out that back panel right there where it's folded down. Looks like it's got like a rub on it, like they've been up walking in and out of it. That is a cool effect right there. I would love to see some peg holes on the back there and places for the uh, figures to grab, um, but I'm not seeing that. Some extra places, I guess maybe they can grab up on the uh, that top rail right there, but I'd love to see some actual peg holes there for the feet. But there you go, there's the color effect right there of all the engine right there at the top. That Cobra logo up top there as well. The turret that can uh, rotate, of course. Got two more holes up there at the turret, I'm not sure what that's going to be for. But those treads actually roll, guys. That is awesome. Those look amazing. Love the red effects right there on the sides. There's the inside seat. I was talking about that panel that actually lights up. The panels in the front that actually light up. This looks amazing. Check that out. There's the canopy open and look, the flaps on the side of the canopy actually flip up as well. So that is really cool. Never seen anything like that. There's, they can stay down as well. Such a cool looking canopy. You got that light that actually will shine in the front with the Cobra logo. You got the headlights on it as well. Back flap up and down. You got the Cobra logo on the back. So here's your unlockable points. Of course, 8,000 backers will get it fully funded. We are coming close to the 10,000 backers already on uh, upgrade number one. And I'll talk about that here in a second. They've already showed it to us and what it is. But we can also unlock three more after this, after we hit the 10,000 mark. So guys, let's push this thing and get all these unlockables here. So yes, we are already funded, already at 9,000, already almost at 10,000 at this time that I'm filming. You can see that it hit it uh, really early, you know, within the first day, not even 24 hours. We already backed this. The first time that has ever happened with one of these HasLab projects. This one is fully funded. And here's your first unlockable, two side mounted missile racks. So remember those holes I was talking about on the sides of the treads, right above the treads? That's what these missiles are for right here. So you can see that kind of plugs right into that hole on the side. Looks really cool right there. They can actually articulate up and down as well. So that is our first unlockable. Ever a Cobra Hiss in six inch scale. And the best part, now Destro just needs the financing of at least 8,000 backers, 1,000 backers within the first week of launch. You'll achieve the early bird unlock. Then everyone who backs the Hiss project receives a classified series Cobra Hiss tactician figure with Deco, inspired by the designs of legendary G.I. Joe toy designer Ron Rudat. And backers of a successful project get to help pick which of Ron's designs goes on. For a mere $299.99, you can get your own classified series Cobra Hiss with Hiss driver action figure. Destro's finally outdone himself this time. It includes Gullwing Canopy, multiple light options, functional wheels and treads, descending rear cargo door, and more 
detail than I can possibly do justice. Lose. Once we've reached that initial goal of guaranteeing project funding, we'll see if I have any other surprises planned for you. I think four secret unlocks would be appropriate, don't you? Until then, the clock is... All right, so here's a nice size comparison between the classified and the original three and three quarter inch. So definitely upscaled, looking really good though. From the front too, again, we got that light action in the front. There's another extra price to this figure or this uh, vehicle. From the back with a actual drop down back compartment, which the other one did not have. Rolling treads, which the other one did not have. All right, so here is our early bird release figure here, rendering of him. So it's a tactician, Cobra Hiss tactician, and it was inspired by Ron Rudant's designs. Now check out these different colors. These are the different options that we're going to be able to actually choose from for those of us that actually back the project of which figure color we want for that tactician. Myself, I like either the far right one, kind of with the clear boots there, or the, probably the all black one. But I think I'm going to go with more of the clear look color. That's me, my opinion. You guys are going to have to choose yours. But definitely not the blue, definitely not the purple. I definitely like the silver visor better than the all black. So it's going to be one of those three for me. The, all, the red one, the red symbol on the chest, or the kind of clear looking one on the far right. I'm, I'm leaning more towards the one on the far right. So yeah, I'm going to show you all these here. All right, so we did unlock number two, the canopy, which is the classic canopy there and the tread covers. That was at 12,000 backers. That's what those look like. So rather than having that red canopy we have, now we got the original color clear. And then those covers there that'll go over the treads. That's what the canopy looks like. Our unlock number three is a weapons accessory pack and a Hiss Gunner action figure, a female action figure. This was also, of course, unlocked. And that's what those weapons look like, and that's what she looks like. The weapon can reach and hit up underneath the, um, the light effect there. And the other ones will go up on the gunner box up there at the top. And then the last unlocked is Cobra Commander himself. All kinds of accessories. He's got a globe with a Cobra around it, a backpack holster, his blaster, his extra hands, and a knife. And there's what the actual figure is going to look like. Looking so good. This is my Cobra Commander. I don't like any of the other ones that have been put out. We'll show a comparison here in a minute. This guy looks amazing. So there's our Hiss Tank original with the original Hiss driver. Plus all the unlocks. Here it is. Showed off at SDCC. With the hiss driver with all the unlocks on it with a rendering of a cover commander at the time and the tactician that's not the tactician sorry that's the gunner i think awesome looking all right so yeah, this was already funded really early. Got the early bird special figure as well. Ended up with 26,772 backers. It did not beat the big one, Galactus. 
but this is still awesome that we unlocked this classified his tank with all the figures so here's some shots of it out in the field with all the cobra officers fixing the tank troops running out the back the ladder down checking the inside out there checking the canopy out there on the inside controls the light effect off the front there's your backers, 26,772 completed. We'll ship fall 2023. Showing off some of the HasLab stuff here with the female driver. Front and back with her shovel and her weapons. And of course, Cobra Commander that we're going to be getting as well with one of our unlocks. Really excited about the Cobra Commander. And then also our early bird unlock here, which we still got to pick the color. So we'll be getting emails soon be able to choose that color of what we want him to look like but yeah cover commander get that snake around the globe got his blaster there there's a nice up close rendering of cover commander for his tank there you can see him being made with some cheap plastic with all of these accessories unpainted yet and here he is painted with all the accessories as well and the vote was in for which one should we get from the early bird fan vote one vote per day vote ends October 30th and the vote was in who won tactician Bravo the red version wasn't my pick but oh well Here's your G.I. Joe brand panel showing things off. They also had a reveal the first day showing that we will be getting a Hawk figure. Of course, this is not the figure, but we will be getting a general Hawk figure sometime in the future. And also a name reveal of Tripwire. So we'll be getting Tripwire and General Hawk in the future. Don't know what they're going to look like yet. Name only reveals. We have Snow Serpents coming, Buzzer coming, and a female cover trooper that would be coming so some cool little reveals there especially with a buzzer to get some more dreadnoughts and then snow snark gonna be cool to go against snow job here's some renderings during SDCC of what these are gonna look like rock and roll great detail on him and all his weapons torpedo awesome accessories Looking really cool. Copperhead. This does look like the original, but I don't know. It still could be Python Patrol. And Shipwreck, one of my favorites. Definitely one of my top 10 most wanted. With Polly on his shoulder there, all his accessories. So there's a really cool digital rendering somebody did. This is not real. We don't know what these are going to look like. This is a digital rendering somebody did of how they could look. All right, so we'd already seen Rock and Roll before in a black and white version or whatever you call it. Here's the actual color version of what it's going to look like. You see the helmet, the weapons, and there's the paint scheme of what he is going to look like. Rock and Roll. Get the beard, the tattoos, and the bullets on his chest. Compared to the original. Here's the renderings of Copperhead, Bazooka, Torpedo, Shipwreck, and Rock and Roll. These figures look amazing. We already knew about Torpedo, so here he is rendered in color. Got the flippers, the mask, and the backpack there. Looking really good. Compared to the original. And we have Copperhead we already knew about as well, but here he is in color renderings. Really cool looking figure there as well. So it could be one of either one of these two. And then Shipwreck was another one that I'm excited about totally, and it comes with Polly. Polly will have a peg leg, which will either go into his hand or into the rope, which is removable as well. He also has a version of hair that you can have on his head that when you take the hat off you can actually put that hair on his head that's pretty cool 
So yeah, Shipwreck, one of my favorites. Compared to the original. Then we got Bazooka coming. This is awesome. I'm excited about the regular Bazooka versus the Tiger Force. This will be cool for me. Definitely be joining my collection whenever it comes out. Gives you a nice shot of the original Bazooka compared to this new Bazooka. Great upgrade. Next reviews we have are Outback and Covergirl. So we talked about the Outback we had for the Tiger Force. Uh, but now we're getting an Outback regular. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. Notice this time he's got the red hair and red beard. But we've got a cover girl, so interesting. We have not seen how she's going to be released, or she's going to be released with any kind of a um, vehicle or something, maybe. So we'll see. Next reveals we have are going to be Falcon and the Marauder's Color Barbecue. So we're still jumping into another offshoot. That Tiger Force, that Python Control, now we're doing with Marauders. we got one that's never been made before, a Crimson Bat. Have a little battle scene here with all the reveals today. Cover Girl, Marauders Barbecue, Falcon, Outback, and all of the Crimson Bats. Alright, so here's your Cover Girl, Courtney Krieger, her accessories, her shotgun, her wrench, her phone there, I guess. Different artwork for this one. On the back as well. Here she is in action. And what the box looks like, plastic free. All angles here of the figure. And compared to the original figure, which actually came with the Wolverine. That would have been nice. Especially since the artwork shows the Wolverine on there. Next we have the Mad Marauders version of Barbecue here. See all the same accessories he came with before. This time he's got the blue and green colors. And here he is in action. And compared to the original Hasbro version there. Next we have the Crimson Bat. Plastic free front and back of the package, you see it comes with the same accessories. And here he is in action. Now we have Stuart Outback Selric Kirk. This is the regular version instead of the Tiger Force. So he's actually got his red hair again instead of the gray. Front and back of the package. Survival on the chest, all kinds of accessories. And in action. And compared to the original. And then we got our Falcon figure here. Package from all angles. In action here with and without the beret on. Got the shotgun, the backpack. And here he is at all angles here. Compared to the original. Got a nice little announcement here for name reveal only. Getting chuckles here soon. Pipeline reveal. MCM London revealed Big Ben to us. And here's the rendering of it. They also revealed this two pack here, Cobra Trooper Valkyries. All kinds of accessories. They also revealed the Shadow Tracker and Mole Rats were coming. Name only. That's what the Shadow Tracker looks like in the old toy. And Mole Rats, I have no idea. Somebody leaked a figure number 66, which still has not ever been revealed, the Python Crimson Guard. It's still, to this day, not revealed yet. Got a Steel Corpse 2 pack with jetpacks, blast effects, and male and female figures. So 
So in March 2023, we did have this fan stream showing off all kinds of new classified and packaged and put out pre-orders. So let's get into those. So yeah, March 8th, 11 a.m. Eastern time, we had a fan stream with these guys right here. Emily from Marketing, Dan Erlini with Design, and Tony with Model Artist. First off, they showed the character name reveals only. And we have Quick Kick, Big Boa, and Mutton Junkyard. So those are definitely three of my tops that I was wanting to see. So I'm excited to see those in the G.I. Joe Classified line sometime soon. Then we jumped into the renders here with Tunnel Rat. You can see he has the optic goggles there with the night vision. And he also has knee pads on right here so he can crawl around through the sewers. It's a great picture of these figures here. We also have the version 2 of Firefly with a different kind of camo decoration, deco on him. Uh, Wasp SMG, he's got a detonator, and then he's got a remote control car as well this time. Night vision for him as well. Then we have low light. He has his sniper rifle bag, which the pieces can actually fit into. That's pretty awesome. That will peg into this side of the backpack as well, so both of them will be on this back. And the goggles do come off in this particular case. And we have Shadow Tracker. He's a poacher, he's got the head skull, uh, the skull head, the clear mask, and he has the jaguar skulls on his shoulders. So really cool weapons here for this guy and looks really good. So the renders revealed were these four. All right, pre-orders for what's up to come right here it is 1 p.m. today, Eastern time. These figures did go up for pre-order on every site out there. So these are standard reveals here. Copperhead we've seen before. $24.99 for these mainline figures. Front and back of him. There you see him holding his weapons and all the accessories he comes with. So this is really cool. Love the colors on this copperhead, it looks great. Kind of a little bit bulkier uh, sculpt on this one, not huge though. The straps on his arms are removable. So again, pre order that at 1 p.m. for this guy. So these figures right here are $24.99 each. They're called mainline figures. Here's Copperhead in his package, all angles. And yeah, the straps on his arms are removable. And he's got a scoped pistol holder. That's pretty cool. Here he is in action. Would love to see him come with a water moccasin. You got your bazooka here with his regular colors on instead of the Tiger Force. You can see he comes with many bazookas there, or many uh, missiles there. Got his helmet and his backpack. All those accessories he comes with there. With and without the helmet on. The plastic free packaging for this guy. Figure number 62. You can see it from the back. And they got a crash test dummy deco on one of the missiles and a some teeth on another missile. And two can fit in the bazooka at the same time. We just load it up from the back side. There's your bazooka, figure package all angles, and the accessories he comes with. In action there. There he is in action, like I said. 
Helmet on, helmet off. And it is loading that bazooka, but check out the background there. Yep, that's the tease for figure number 66 right there. The Python Patrol Crimson Guard. Then we have Torpedo. Got the flippers, all the accessories he comes with. Looking real good there. You got the nice face print technology on his face there too. From the side there you can see that breathing apparatus. The flippers do have a lot of bend to them as well. Nice shots of him in the water. Really cool photography right here. Here's torpedoes package all angles. All the accessories he comes with, which are a lot. And him with his gear on. And here's some great shots of him in action coming out of the water, taking his gear off, leaving it behind him. Awesome looking shots here especially floating through the water. We got a shipwreck with Polly and his peg leg. Got the rope. Polly can peg right into that rope. He's got an extra head sculpt so they have one with the hair, uh, with the hat on, one without it. His anchor. Two guns. Really cool looking figure here. With Polly, he can go on the wrist and on the rope. Anchor hooks right there on his belt. And you can hook the anchor to a chain if you can figure that one out. So your shipwrecks package, along with Polly. Here he is with and without the hat on. Polly on his wrist, Polly on his shoulder. All the accessories he comes with. On and off of him. And here he is in action. Be nice to get this little chain right there to go with the anchor. So you can figure that out yourself, I guess, guys. We have rock and roll, got all kinds of tattoos, got the helmet, massive gun, ammo. I love the way the ammo can actually wrap around his chest. We have a piece hanging out of the gun there, extra hands. Tattoos on the hand, got the extra hand sculpt there for rock and roll. The smiley face on it. Tattoos on the arms. Beautiful beard he's got there, and this guy's got that surfer vibe too. Walkie talkie. Rock and roll in package. All his accessories with and without the helmet on. And you see that tattoo on his hand there, it's like a smiley face skull. I like that he can lay down like this for his gun. Got the walkie, tattoos all over the arms. There's that full wave of the mainline figures. 
It leaves all five of this wave. Like I said, main line, $24.99 each. We'll go up for pre-order today, 1 p.m. Again, plastic free for all of them. We got our scrap iron figure here. This is kind of a $44.99 figure. They call this figure and pet with a lot of extra accessories. So he has blast effects here for the uh, missiles coming out of the drone as well. The tank treads are articulated. I don't know that they roll, but they, they kind of squeeze up and down different angles. Anti-tank missile there. Blast pieces down there. And check out Scrap Iron's face here under the helmet. Here it is with the helmet on. Got the control there, the gun. And the anti-tank drone. But check out his face all burnt up. All these accessories he comes with. Beautiful with the helmet on. Blast effect pieces. Check out that face right there. All burned up. The eye looks like it don't even work anymore. Yeah, there's all those accessories it comes with. Front and back. Front of the package, even plastic free. Back of the package, figure number 74 in the classified series. The scrap on figure is $44.99, figure and pet, front and back of this package. All the accessories it comes with, and the action there with, with the helmet on. And with it all, check out all those accessories. And here he is in action. Drone firing off. And the effect pieces of it. We have our two packs, which are going to be $54.99 each, which is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive this time. You got your Cobra Valkyrie Army Builders, so the female troopers here. Front and back, all their accessories. Bunch of different heads you can put on them. Blast effect pieces. So this will be really cool for army building, as you can see here. Back of the figures, all those accessories, pre-order on Pulse today at 1 p.m., figure number 68, Cobra Valkyries. Now these deluxe two packs, like I said, are $54.99. This one is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive with the Cobra Valkyrie Army Builder. All the accessories they come with. And in action, look at that army building set right there. All kinds of different options you can have for these figures. Then we have our deluxe figure, which is $34.99, single figure with a ton of accessories. You got Snow Job. So you can see him on his skis, his backpack, his boots he can walk through, his poles, extra heads, extra uh, goggles, and the uh, the hood down. So here's with it up, with the goggles on, skiing down the hill, shooting his rifle, got all the gear to the side, walking through the snow. Skis up in his backpack there, that's cool. Back of the figure. All the accessories kind of stored on the backpack there. And then you got your front of the figure and all the accessories. And the back of the figure, all the accessories. Again, Pulse exclusive today, figure number 67.
This is your deluxe SKU, $34.99, single figure with a ton of accessories, snow job. All the accessory does come with. Again, this is an exclusive as well. Here is an action. Got the scope rifle there, skiing down the hill, walking through the snow. Check out all those accessories, that's awesome. And look at the background, guys. We got some snow bats that look like it's coming, maybe. Three orders, 72 Copperhead, 62 Bazooka, 73 Torpedo, 70 Shipwreck, and 71 Rock and Roll. You got your Scrap Iron and Anti-Armor Drone, 74. Your Cobra Valkyrie, 68 Hasbro Pulse Exclusive. And your Snow Job, 67 Hasbro Pulse Exclusive. And during the Walmart 2023 Collector Con, we have the Big Ben and the Range Viper here. Here's that Range Viper, figure number 76. All the accessories it comes with. Back of that package. Front of the package. Here's an action, got that skull with the brains kind of sticking out looking. Army build this guy if you want to. And here you have Big Ben, Night Force. Again, this is Walmart Collector Con. Got the mask there for breathing. And the package there, front and back. Here he is in action again. The mask on. All right, so time for comparison time. Here are all of the snake eyes that have been released so far. Now notice I have the red version one versus the no red version two because those figures look exactly the same except for the head sculpt. So I didn't put both figures here. I just showed the different head sculpts for that wave one snake eyes. But there's all of the other snake eyes that have been released already in this classified six inch scale. Here's the three Destros compared. The four cover commanders, and again, my far right one there is the classic one I would have been wanting so bad. The four roadblocks. The four Cobra officers here, or infantry, or troopers, whatever you want to call them. So again, there's the light color emblem versus the red emblems on the infantry versus the officer. Our three Scarlets, including the movie one. Our three Dukes. Three Zartans. Four Storm Shadows. Now I got five here just because one's got the hood up, one's got it down there for the the uh, original classified figure. Our three Baroness figures, including the crappy movie one. Two Lady J's. I do have both of the original classified with and without her hat on on the right there compared to the retro. Our two Gung Ho's. Again, I got four pictures here because two shows him with the hat, two shows him without the hat, just to see those comparisons. Our Crimson Guard, regular versus the retro. Our barbecues, get the regular and the marauders. Our three different bats, 
Python Patrol and Crimson version plus the original. Our Vipers, regular the Python Patrol and the 3-pack. Our Ninjas, red versus blue. Outback, Tiger Force versus regular. And our Ram Cycles. And here are our bazookas so far. All right, so here is the list in order of how they were released, minus the Cobra hits there at the top. That figures zero through 15 here. When they were released, how much they costed. Here those are in package. And here those are loose. Now I do have, which wasn't on the list, the repaints of Wave 1 with Duke, Roadblock, Scarlet, and I don't have the extra snake eyes on here because, again, it's just a difference in the red line on his mask. Here's figure 16 through 34. That includes the movie. Alright, so this shot actually has those four repaint releases of the Wave 1. Plus it has the Fortnite Snake Eyes on here. Got your five movie figures, which are still sitting on shelves. Need to go on sale. Got your Zartan. Both Zartans, but the um, Hasbro Pulse exclusive Zartan. Color changing. Here all those are loose. Again, minus the repaints because they were on the first slide. Thirty-five through fifty. All of them in package. And loose. through 66 missing 65 here and like I said 66 hasn't really been revealed so there they are in package and loose or in package here And more loose here. What we know so far for 67 through 77, plus the render reveals and the his tank, and also the character reveal only. So here's the ones we see renders already of. Here are the character name only ones. And everything for our his tank. Now each one of these are supposedly going to come on their own cards as well. The figures that is, with their own numbers, I guess, in the classified line. Then we have our retros. We've seen this picture already. And I do have a lot of most wanted, so let me go through all those. I definitely want the hooded cover commander, a wetsuit, deep six with his shark, alpine, naga hide, and Clyde the warthog. Those are definitely wanted figures. I want the Cobra La, Nemesis Enforcer, Globulus, Pythona, and the Cobra La Royal Guard. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And with Globulus, please give us his little hover, whatever the heck that thing is. He looks freaking awesome. Whenever they revealed that he had his big old long tail after he got out, that was amazing. 
please give us the rest of the Dreadnoughts with Torch, Buzzer, Monkey Wrench, Xandar, Thrasher. With Thrasher, I definitely want the Thunder Machine as well. Zanzibar and Road Pig. I know there's more, but these are my big guys right here. I'd also love to see a regular version of Rakondo, Ace, Blowtorch, Wild Weasel that heals, Law and Order, Metalhead, Cesspool, and Leatherneck. Now these are pictures from the Hasbro website of stuff that they still not given to us with Doc, Helix, Ripcord, Sci-Fi, Wild Bill, and Jinx. And for the villains, Tor uh, we have the Road Pig, Sand Scorpion, and Torch from the Dreadnoughts. And then now that they've done my one of my top ones, which was the His Tank, here's my next vehicles I'd love for them to do. The Vamp and the Triple T for Sergeant Slaughter. Definite must for our vehicles. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments, hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you already, hit that thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.